Hobbs, it's Sam. So today I'm partnering up with Walmart again to show you guys some awesome things that you can grab from Walmart. I got all of this stuff in store, so I did not order any of this online. This was all in store. So you could do a pickup where you just pull up and they pull it right out to your car, or you can go in, I went in, um, but I got a bunch of groceries for Thanksgiving and I got a bunch of stuff for like charcuterie boards and like actual, I wouldn't, is it called kitchenware? I mean, I don't know, just stuff to put the stuff on and in and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, basically everything that I got from Walmart. I also got some really cute home decor pieces as well. I will link everything down below for you guys, like always. So this is so gorgeous, and I actually already have one of these bowls, but it's a different shape. This is the Better Homes and Gardens, and it just says it's the Modern Bowl Large. It's acacia wood, and it's so big. This is perfect for like a big salad or, a, you know, chips. Just kind of something that you need to store in. I think it's so pretty on the table, so I got that. And then I saw these. These must be new. They are so pretty. They have this like gold, um, I think it's like a, yeah, a gold lining. And it's this really fun design. It's just black and white. These are by Time and Table. Um, and they're stoneware, oven safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe. And it's basically just an eight inch square baker, but I thought these were so pretty. Um, I'm gonna be making apple crumble, and then I'm also gonna be making a um, roast, or not roasted, uh, cauliflower cheese. And I thought these would be so perfect to put both of those in. This was, I think, around five or six bucks. It's the Better Homes and Gardens Acacia Wood and Porcelain Butter Dish. But I think it's so pretty. It says butter on it, but then it also has um, this like wood top. So it's, it, you know, obviously it's keeping the butter in and it's nice and deep as well. And then I got these cute little, uh, they called ramekins, ramekins, better homes and gardens, porcelain ramekin. I hope I'm saying that right. But this is what they look like. They're just like a nice white. These are perfect to put onto your charcuterie board for olives, for pickles, for your dip, like I got spinach and artichoke dip and then um, hummus. And then I got this little round one. This one is the Better Homes and Gardens round dip bowl. I thought this might be really good for like honey or I don't know, something like that. So I got those so that everything matches. And then I got these two boards. These are, I think they were like 18 bucks. These are called the Time and Table Cut and Serve Board made of acacia, ash, and rubber wood. And they are just these nice long boards. They're really pretty, like the wood is actually a gorgeous design. So I got two of these so that I could have like them laid out on the table um, to put all of my cheeses and salami and fruit and, and all that kind of stuff. So I got two of those because they're not super wide. So I thought I would get two, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if I end up using both of them, but I thought they were really pretty. Okay, next I got this little decorative runner from Mainstays. It's just like a really nice um, kind of, you know, beigey tan material with like the little cream scalloping on the sides. And then these are so cute. They actually remind me of Ray Dunn, which I know is kind of like out, but I just thought these were really fun. They just stay grateful. They're nice and thin, so they're not gonna take up too much like thickness on the table. Um, and they're all round, so they all just stay grateful. Um, and they were by Mainstays, and I think they were like $2.74. Okay, and then this is really cool. So this is the Better Homes and Gardens Chip and Dip slash Cake Stand. So you can have it this way to make it as a cake stand, or you can have it this way, and then it's like a little bowl, and then you can put your chips or your veggies or whatever all the way around. So I thought that that was really nice, plus it's just a nice plain white. So I got that. And now we are moving on to the grocery portion. So I got some Cape Cod kettle cooked potato chips. My brother really likes these, so I got those so that he can snack on those. Tortilla chips, we really like these ones. They taste really good, so I got that. So I got guacamole. I don't wanna have to like make my own guacamole. I'm not, I'm not Betty Crocker, okay? I mean, I've made it before in the past, but when you have so much to prepare for and you've got the kids home and it's like all on me, I just don't wanna do that. So I just bought pre-made guacamole because I just want convenience. I'm, I've just got, I've gotten to that point in my life. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I just want it to be easy. So this is the, I don't know how you say it, Herdez traditional guacamole. It looks really fresh and yummy. Like you can see bits of tomato and stuff in there. It looks like it would be yum. And then I got the Cedar Lane spinach and cheese dip. So that is what that one looks like. Also got the Cedar Lane classic hummus. 
rather than having to grate the cheese, oh, I'm coming up with all these amazing ideas. I just figured I'd buy the pre-grated cheese. It's the Tillamook Sharp White Cheddar. I didn't realize that they had this already pre-grated. And like grating cheese takes a lot of time when you have to grate a lot of it for cauliflower cheese. So I actually got four packs of this. I got one that was just the sharp cheddar and then the rest all extra sharp so that I literally don't have to like grate any cheese. I can just throw all the cheese in to make my cauliflower cheese sauce and it will be so much easier. So I'm just trying to do everything like real convenient this year. This is the great value dried apricots. I got this for the um, charcuterie board. And this I just got for dinner. <laughs> Cause again, easy, but doesn't that look yummy? It's so fluffy and big. This is the freschetta. I've never tried this one before. We normally get the Red Baron, but the crust looked so amazing. I must have just been having a real pizza craving. So I got that. Cucumber for the charcuterie board. I got Brussels sprouts. Um, these are for the charcuterie board as well. This is the dry roasted peanuts. I just get the Walmart brand. They're super good. They're super good. So I also got this. I thought that this was so cute to have all of the sweets and yummies on. I have like all of these yummies, like just pre-made cookies and brownie bites and stuff like that but these are the carmelo by cadbury um i'm just gonna make like a cute little dessert tray instead of mixing it in with a charcuterie now i'm gonna have all of the yummy desserts on this cute little platter as if we were having tea time so i thought that that was so cute i love the little scalloped um edge and then the black it's really cute so i've got that there okay i got bell peppers for the hummus I got the petite carrots. I like these little skinny ones. They're just so much easier to bite. I just love having the charcuterie board out all day. And then everyone can just kind of graze while they wait for dinner. Planters salted cashew. And then I got the Miller's creamy white honey. I really like white honey. I don't know why. I just think it's just so much yummier. And then I got a block of cheese just because we needed a block of cheese. That's not for anything for Thanksgiving. Milano milk chocolate cookies. There we go. Those are yum. I'm gonna have so much leftovers. I kind of like overdid it. I got these mint cookies. They're gluten free. Those are, they're by Goody Girl. Um, they look like Girl Scout cookies. But I got these for Brad and um, Jay. And then I also got these gluten free almond flour farmhouse cheddar cookies from Simple Mills. They normally have the rosemary ones and the salted ones, but they didn't have them. So I just got those. These are bagel bites, pizza snacks. These are just for us, just for a regular grocery shop. And then I got some Cars table water crackers, some unsalted butter. And I got some salted butter. Oh my gosh, have you guys tried this in a squeezy? It's so much more convenient. You just squeeze it out rather than having to dip the spoon in. It makes it so easy for the kids because they, when we do tacos and stuff, they can just squeeze them. Love this. I got two heads of cauliflower for the cauliflower cheese. Um, so I got Granny Smith apples for my apple crumble. I got some red seedless grapes for the charcuterie board. Heavy whipping cream. I got two of these because I'm making um, a Oreo, pie. it's like a gluten-free Oreo pie for Brad and Jay. I got two packs of chicken, salami for the charcuterie board, deli meat, all sorts of different cheeses. This is the Fiscalini Farmstead Purple Moon Cheddar. I've never heard of this before. It's a purple cheese. I just thought it'd be so pretty on the charcuterie board. I also got the Wensley Dale with cranberries. It's an English dessert cheese with a burst of cranberries. That looked really yummy. So I got that one for the charcuterie. Fresh goat milk cheese, garlic herb, which also looks delicious for the charcuterie. I got some blueberries for the charcuterie. How many times can I say charcuterie in this video? Strawberries for the charcuterie. And then I also got the apple smoked cheddar cheese. It's naturally smoked with apple and hardwood, which Sounds delicious. There we go. So that's what that cheese looks like. This I've never, I've never seen before, but it looks so good. It's the rustic oven hearty grains and seed bread. How good does that bread look? Doesn't that look so yum? It's so soft as well to the touch. It's full of seeds. So I thought I could throw some of those on the charcuterie. And then I also got the rustic farm Arctic, or Arctic, no, artisan white. And it just looks so nice. I got some olives. These are the Pearls Pimiento by Musco Family. Got some apricot preserves from Smuckers for the charcuterie board. That's really good with the goat cheese on some sourdough bread or a cracker. Oh, so delish. 
Um, I got some little baby pickles. The Sausalito Milk Chocolate Macadamia. Those look so good. Um, I got some French vanilla ice cream, which I need to put in the freezer right now from Tillamook. Baby gold potatoes. I got some bananas to eat. Frozen sweet corn. Some Idaho potatoes for roasted potato. Oh, crapper. That's to make roasted potatoes. Then I got some carrots for Thanksgiving. Raspberries. Um, I like to put raspberries in the apple crumble and then also on the char charcuterie board. And then these are just the Walmart brand brownie bites for that little, my little yummy dessert platter. Some shaved Parmesan cheese because I'm going to make risotto for dinner. And then some blackberries for the charcuterie board. Some little mini muffins. Keep in mind we're not going to eat all this on Thanksgiving. It's just going to be out and then I can just put the rest of the stuff back in the containers for the kids for like school. Well, they'll be off, but you know, just for just for snacks. We got some Ferreros to add little pops of gold. And then we got some candy canes to decorate the Christmas tree. Lily just picked up some of these Chobani Flip S'mores. She really likes these to eat. I got the Baby Bell. Those are always good on a charcuterie board as well. Sweet and seedless mandarin oranges. I got a salad for Jay for work. This is the farmhouse market side salad with chicken and bacon. He likes to take these to work. I got some Parmesan cheese for the risotto. Um, I got mini croissants. Those are also really great for a charcuterie board um, to switch it up if the person doesn't just want bread. Those are really nice. You can make little ham and cheese sandwiches. Usually I put it out pretty early and then it's just out all day long and then everyone can just, um, you know, snack on it. You cannot have festive sugar cookies, can you? These are the frosted sugar cookies. They're just like the Walmart brand. Nutella for the um, Oreo pie. These are the Brookside dark chocolate acai, acai. These are really good for the charcuterie board. They're yummy. Um, Phoenix got a worm noodle thing. Do you want your worm noodle? Okay, come get it. Oh, I didn't know you guys put this in there. Lily did. Sneaky. Um, they also saw the Christmas crunch. We haven't had that one before, so we figured we'd give that a go. And then these are really yummy. They're the Yo Play Smooth Style yogurts. The the kids don't like lumps in their yogurt, so we always get these. You can only find them at Walmart. Then I got a French baguette. This is the market side brand. That is for the charcuterie. We are not gonna go hungry, okay? Then I have a couple home items. These were just home decor pieces that I saw. They have so many cute home decor pieces right now, you guys, so I had to grab them because they were just so cute. I should be buying a Christmas mat, but it has Christmassy colors. It has burgundy and reds and greens. But it says, so glad you're here with a rainbow. And I thought it was just so pretty. This is by, um, who is this by? It's by Mainstays and it's really big. Isn't that so cute? These are, I think they're just the Walmart brand. Pretty sure. Um, aren't those so beautiful? I just love them. They were so affordable. I think it was like less than $20. This is also the same, I think it's just Walmart brand. It's like a really shiny finish. It's just this beautiful artwork and again i think it was like 20 something it was very affordable and then this mirror was 39 dollars <laughs> i'm i've got you set on a cup is not is that not so pretty it reminds me so much of the anthropology one but it was only 39 dollars. it's obviously smaller so you can hang it on the wall but i just think it's so pretty with like see how that's so pretty I love it. I'm going to be sharing um, my actual charcuterie board and like more of our Thanksgiving meal on my stories on Instagram. Um, so you guys be sure to follow me on Instagram so you guys can see how it all turns out. But I wanted to do like the haul for you guys just so you guys can see exactly like what I'm gonna be putting on my charcuterie board so that I can get this up nice and early before Thanksgiving. If you're a last minute shopper like me, our fridge is, <laughs> It's not good. Um, so I have to leave everything to the last minute for this kind of stuff because otherwise if I buy it too far ahead of time, that thing makes our, our produce go off so fast. It is not good. But because it's such a small space, I was thinking, well, why don't we just buy a new one? But then I don't want to buy a small little fridge just for like the remainder of our lease here. You know, I just don't want to do that. I, if I'm gonna buy a fridge, I want to buy like a nice fridge and I'm not gonna buy a small tiny one. So we're just dealing with it. So it's just like, if you buy produce, you have to eat it really fast. Thanksgiving is Thursday, so it'll sit in the fridge for, you know, basically a day and a half and then I can use it, it'll be fine. I can't plan too far ahead of time with this fridge because it's just not that good, um, which is a total bummer, but it's just what it is. So, 
Um, that's why I left it so long, so late in the game, is because I didn't want anything to go off. Again, I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys. You guys can go ahead and check it all out. Do pick up and then they'll bring it right out to you if you wanna do that. Okay guys, so there is my haul from Walmart. I hope you guys enjoy. Happy Thanksgiving. I probably won't put up another video before Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And a huge, don't mind my dog. And a huge thank you to Walmart for partnering up with me for this video, and again, don't forget to go and follow me on Instagram so you guys can see my beautiful charcuterie boards and you can see how all of this come all of this comes together um, with all of like the little tiered tray and the charcuterie board and the little dishes and just how I style everything. So follow me over there. Okay.